Ever since Jurassic Park 3, audiences haven't returned to Site B, with many people still wondering what horrors are still lurking on Isla Sauna. Many people still believe Isla Sauna to be abandoned, but this isn't the case, and certain new information confirms this, and that's what we're going to be covering in today's video. After Jurassic World soft rebooted the Jurassic franchise in 2015, there has been no mention of the second island or of any dinosaurs on it. Isla Sauna was originally the factory floor for InGen, the biotech company owned by billionaire John Hammond where dinosaurs were cloned and bred before being transported to Jurassic Park on Isla Nublar. Now, sometime after the fall of the original Jurassic Park in 1993, Hurricane Carissa hit Isla Sauna and forced them to evacuate the island. After the evacuation of Isla Sauna, the dinosaurs were freed and left to take care of themselves. And in 1998, a small team of scientists from InGen illegally landed on Isla Sauna against the 1997 Gene Guard Act and began to process the cloning of new specimens. And part of that team actually had Biosend scientists scientists in it undercover as InGen scientists, which I go over in detail on this video. Now you might be wondering how this relates to the present day, well let me continue. After the passing of John Hammond, Isla Nublar and Isla Sona were purchased by Masrani Corporation with the intention to create a new theme park called Jurassic World. Despite major focus going into the first island building a new park, there was still regular contact and operations on Isla Sauna. By 2004, the company had regularly been bringing dinosaurs from Isla Sauna to inhibit its new park with many people believing they captured every dinosaur and brought it to Jurassic World. But this actually isn't the case, and there's more going on on Isla Sauna than we originally believed, which Jurassic World Dominion actually shows us. But let me continue, because this is where it gets really interesting. Now, at some point, the company known as Manticorp, one of InGen's rivals along Biosen, appropriated animals from Isla Sauna, such as the Spinosaurus and the mother and daughter Tyrannosaurus. We also know that Biosen were regularly going to Isla Sauna to get their first generations of dinosaurs dinosaurs, which Dr. Sattler and Dr. Grant were told by Ramsey on their way to the Biosen facility. Buck and Doe are two known sauna dinosaurs that were taken to the sanctuary as well. Now, as of 2018, we know that Manticorp fell, so they would not be going back and forth Isla Sauna, but we do know that Biosen is massively still involved in Isla Sauna, and that the fact there is still dinosaurs on that island. And how do I know this? And what dinosaurs would still be on the island? And why would Biosen even be involved in an island which is somehow deserted? Well, let me explain. In 2022, we had Jurassic World Dominion release, and it didn't give us too much in the way of Isla Sauna, but the Dino Tracker viral in website actually did. Check this out. Now, this here is a screen grab from the Dino Tracker website, and it shows a photograph of Isla Sauna. And in the bottom of that photograph there, shows the image to be taken by Biosen. Now that's no biggie because we know Biosen are back and forth they're stealing dinosaurs anyway. What is a biggie is the fact that it's owned and governed, as it says here, by a third party. The island is overseen by the Costa Rican government in close partnership with third party companies to safely contain and monitor any remaining dinosaurs that may still be present there. Hmm, and what third party is this I wonder? Well, the image of Isla Sauna actually came from Biosen, so the third party is aka Biosen. But that still doesn't answer our question as to what other dinosaurs are on Isla Sauna, so let me continue and explain. Now, as I said earlier, Ramsey mentioned the fact that they were pillaging Isla Sauna and taking dinosaurs to the sanctuary. And the Spinosaurus at this time wasn't actually on Isla Sauna, it was on Manticorp Island. But what if Biosen actually found that Manticorp Island and took the Spinosaurus themselves and brought it back to Isla Sauna for further testing? This is definitely indeed possible as Biosen would have the technology and be able to find that initial Manticorp Island because they knew about it from Camp Cretaceous Season 5, where we see Lewis Dodson meet up with the leader of Manticorp and basically tell him of this other island. And with Isla Sauna now under the control and leadership of Biosen, they could easily have a secret facility on Isla Sauna, where they continue their gene technology, their testing, maybe even developing military technology, all in the name of science. This could also explain another mystery, what actually happened to the Endoraptor body, as we know Biosen has been going back to Isla Sauna frequently. They could have easily have commandeered and stolen that Endoraptor body, and said that they were disposing it again all in the name of science, when in actual fact they could have taken his body to their secret research labs on Isla Sauna and continued developing Endoraptor slash military technology. 
Not only that, but they say first generations came from Isla Sona. But what about the second, third, fourth generations we are yet to even see? Where are they developing these, if not in the sanctuary? Well, obviously Isla Sona is controlled by them. They'll have free reign over that island to say and do whatever they want in the name of protecting dinosaurs. It's obviously not hidden the fact that dinosaurs are still on the island because that is broadcast to the entire world for them to see. Logically, it does make sense that they would have another off-site location other than the sanctuary to continue their research undiscovered, especially into illegal operations. Not to mention, after the initial abandonment of the island, all the original facilities were left there, the cloning lab, the embryonics lab, etc. All equipment and technology they used to clone the Spinosaurus is all left there waiting to be taken, sampled and used by Biosyn. There could be other horrors on Isla Sona lurking in the darkness right now, which are yet to be released to the outside world. But as of 2022, Isla Sona is not abandoned and it is under the protection, as they say, of Biosyn. That has probably since been re retracted. But as for what's on there, we do know dinosaurs are there. Jurassic World Dominion was about bringing things full circle and showing audiences that some lessons aren't learned even over decades. While Jurassic Park seemed like the first lesson, the continued work after the incident proved that only only an act of nature could stop an equally destructive attempt to play God. Isla Sona has since gotten protected as one of the few safe havens left for dinosaurs. However, it's also proof even after Jurassic World Dominion and the light it shed on the event, it's just another example of how humanity can't stop meddling in things they don't understand. Thanks for watching today's video. Go and check out all my other videos on the channel. You'll enjoy them, trust me. And I'd like to thank my Patreons and YouTube members. Thank you very much, guys, for supporting. I'm Shadows, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers now. Bye-bye.